Hi, everyone. We're looking at this question, which is, uh, uh, you know, tested from November 2018. It's question number 4C. And this this uh, was of four marks in, in that examination, right? So we don't want to really spend a lot of time. And of course, in four marks, you don't expect the examiner to be testing you or, you know, expecting you to write a lot of stuff, right? Four marks would mean probably six to seven minutes, not more than that. Okay, so let's let's read this question. It says that Moon Limited acquired 75% uh, of Star Limited on 1st of April 2017 for a consideration transfer, which is 60 lakh rupees. Moon Limited intends to recognize the NCI at a proportionate share of uh, fair value of identifiable assets, right? With the assistance of a suitably qualified valuation professional, Moon Limited measures the identifiable net assets of Star Limited at 90 lakh rupees. Moon Limited performs a review and determines that a business combination did not include any transactions that should be accounted for separately from the business combination. The question is, state whether the procedures followed by Moon Limited and the resulting measurements are appropriate or not. Also, calculate the bargain purchase gain, which is the capital reserve in the process, right? Now, you, you, we all understand what is what is a capital reserve, okay? So what we say or what, what India's 103 expects us to talk about or expects us to cover is that in case of bargain purchase, the acquirer is required to ensure that there exist sufficient evidence or evidences that a bargain purchase has actually occurred, right? So, to ensure that these evidences exist, an acquirer is required to conduct, and that is what is the expectations that it conducts, is required to conduct sufficient reviews, okay? and ensure that the business combination does not, so we're taking the entire statement from the question straight away, does not include any transactions that should be accounted for separately from the business combination right so what are we what are we trying to kind of build here is that so we, we are just trying to conclude in this case that accordingly we may conclude that the procedures followed, including, for example, taking assistance, assistance from a suitably qualified valuation professional Right. Accordingly, we may conclude that the procedures followed, including 
you know, the taking assistance from a suitably qualified uh, valuation professional. Uh, the resulting measurements are appropriate in the given scenario. Okay. The second part of the question wants us to calculate the bargain purchase gain. So the way we calculate, of course, is the bargain purchase. We have purchase consideration. How much did we pay? That is provided at 60 lakhs, right? Less net assets, and that is provided, of course, at 90 lakh. But out of that, the NCI, of course, since we only acquired 75%, so 25% of net assets will be. So that would be 22.50 lakh. Effectively, we are talking about. Uh, you're paying 60 lakh for something uh, worth 67.5, which means that 7.5 lakh is the right 7.5 lakh is the amount of bargain purchase or the capital reserve which is arising on this acquisition of moon limited uh, on this acquisition done by moon limited of star limited all right thank you very much